All right, gentlemen. Some of the best things that I remember about hunting are the stories you hear around campfires. Now, I'm telling y'all, it's got to be those drought years. That's when you hear about these chupacabras and Bigfoots down here. I mean, we had that drought about five years ago. Old John shot that hog. Three of them came to the clearing. John shoots the middle one. All three of them stand up on their back legs and run 75 yards back into the brush on two legs, screaming and squealing. Of course, the one he shot only made it about 20 yards and keeled over. But what gets real strange is old John had a grandma that was a Native American Indian. And he told her the story, and he had kept a tusk off that boar. And his... Uh, Grandma said, give me that tusk, and she took that tusk and put it in a mortar and pedestal and smashed it. You know, he wasn't real happy about it, but, you know, it's his grandma, so what the heck's he going to do? She smashed it into a powder, made some flour tortillas, and made him eat it. And he didn't know what that was all about, and she told him that he had shot a shapeshifter. You know, kind of like a shaman or something. And that that would give him the power of the shaman or shapeshifter. And uh, he didn't really believe all that, but I kind of believed his grandma because the next year when he came back to hunt, he turned into a real jackass, so we had to run him off. But, you know, hogs running on two legs. You've seen dogs with two legs. You know, walking around, you've seen them on those TV shows. They can do it. So maybe they're starting to learn, just like the rattlesnakes. They don't, they don't rattle anymore because of the hogs eating them. That maybe, maybe they're learning that they stand up on two legs. People are going to think they're a guy in a ghillie suit or something and won't shoot them. I don't know. They're real smart. Real smart. But maybe that's the explanation. But I do know it's always on them drought years.